this is not for black people, for white people. This is not for hip hop music and rap music. You can love gospel music. You can love creating country music or whatever it is. This system works for music, period. It works for anybody that's a musician, period. I don't want anybody to watch this video and feel like, well, since I don't do hip hop and since I don't do rap, this doesn't work, right? This works. His system works mm -hmm. regardless of if you're a male or female, uh, what you look like, what kind of music you want to make. And all of you all can get to the bag and be making $60,000 a year off of your music. And I know for some of you, after that, you'll probably quit your job. Mm -hmm. What's up, Pussles? It's your boy JC Automations back again with another video. You guys have been loving these whiteboard videos, but I'm here with a very special guest. I go way back with this gentleman. I'm talking about Halo Day. Yeah, Halo, <laughs> high school, all of that good stuff. But now he's very successful in helping people that are interested in the music business. You go by the name of Jeremiah Reeves. All of his contact information will be in the description of this video. And like I tell you guys all the time, I want this channel to have a little something for everybody. If you want to do something entrepreneurial, whether it's a business or an investment. And now we're going to talk about people that want to get into the music industry. How can you realistically make between 20 grand to 60 grand a year off of your music? And this is not you being a Grammy Award winning a musician. This is how realistically anybody that follows him on Instagram and all of his social media, which is down in the description below, after watching this video, will know an attack plan that you could take your music and make a full time income. I'm going to even slide out of the frame. I'm going to interject the questions that I think you guys will want to know. However, if I don't ask the right questions, put it in the premiere of this video. Put it down in the comment section below. Maybe we'll do a part two. If you can't wait for part two, go hit him up directly. Book a consultation. Check out what he offers. And if you or anybody you know is really into music, but they don't see how they can make enough money off of their music to do it full time, this is the guy you need to tap in with. But enough of me rambling. I'm going to let him introduce himself, tell you about himself, and let's get into it. What's going on? What's going on? It's Jeremiah Reeves, uh, owner of Only Winners Records. I'm partnered with Royal Marketing Firm, man. I'm extremely blessed to even know a brother like John, man. JT Hustle is my bad. I got to say the superhero name, man. I can't be, <laughs> can't be giving away all the government, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but what it is, is um, what we've done, we've created a system. We call it the Fan Growth Formula, Fan Growth System. What that is, we created a step-by-step system to help you make money our biggest problem is we you guys your budget isn't right you're not making enough money from your music we wanted to be able to fix that problem and come in and give like just just tremendous value right so what we did was it's like okay what's the problem uh you're getting paid a penny per stream right less than a penny right you're not making any money you're putting a whole lot of hard work into creating this beautiful product this music blood sweat and tears and you're not making any money for it so me and uh, my boy Dopamine Supreme at Royal Marketing Firm, man, we just came together and we was like, look, we need to put together something to help artists make real money. Um, shout out to AR Restless. He's one of our most successful artists we worked with. He's made $5,000 off only 50 super fans using a system that we're going to break down. Uh, if you, hey, any questions, please get in the comments down below and we're going to, you know, we're going to chop it up. We're about to get into this game real quick. Now, this is, this is the example if we're running ads now. Now, disclaimer, this is going to be an advanced ads type thing, right? So if you get lost, don't worry about it. Ask questions. But this is going to be going over retargeting ads and ads advertising in front of people who already like, know, or trust you, right? So this is not no cold ad right here, right? So what we'll be doing is um, we'll be trying to make 60 grand, right? 60 grand for my music business, man. So I have a, a Patreon strategy, OnlyFans strategy. But right now, the first thing you have to do to make money is to have something for sale. What? I know that might be shocking. To have something for sale. You artists, we don't have nothing for sale. We can't go to Spotify and buy anything. We can't even support you. So we, you have to give people like myself all your fans an opportunity to be able to come buy something from you, right? So we need a, a product. Now, I say $25, but you can sell your product for however much you want to. You know, do your thing. But realistically, to make $5,000, we need 
200 fans buying a $25 product. What is that product? We can put together like the music, the, the, a music video that you put the, for free on YouTube. We can put that in a digital bundle. What we do is we take your photos off of Instagram or some professional type photos. We got, we put your bio in there. We put a, a thank you video. We put some exclusive songs in a bundle and we put it all together on a, a, a Google Drive. And we send people to your website to where they buy the drive. That's it. That I mean, that's the big secret. That's the big reveal. That's the that look. I, I'm here to give value. There it is, right there. Rewind this video. Just cut the video off. That's what we do, right? I want to interject <laughs> real quick. All right. So why why are you sending them to your website and not to Spotify or iTunes or any place like that? The reason why we send them to our website because of the fact that we want to be able to control our own destiny. That's what I call it. If I send somebody to Apple, Spotify, right? I can't retract them. I can't get, I, it's, it's hard for me to get an email. It's hard for me to build rapport and a long-term relationship with somebody who's just, just a listener. What we're trying to do is convert listeners into true fans and true fans into lifelong fans and they're going to be buying stuff and, and, and supporting us for our whole eternity. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know you might not know what pixels are but what a pixel is a facebook pixel google analytic pixel is whenever i click over and go like to your website or something like that you can actually track me so if i don't buy anything you'll be able to get back in front of me and say hey jeremiah you came to the website why you ain't buying nothing bro feel what i'm saying because what average two percent of people who come to a website buy something as soon as they get to that website so we got to get back in front of those 98 percent of people right real life happens right somebody was about to buy something from you but their mom called their daughter called they got real life situations going on so we had to get back in front of them say hey I, you know what i was just about to support that artist like a day ago but i got busy so now i'm about to you know get you know let me buy it now you feel what i'm saying because real life happens people have things that go on and they might have not bought it at the time. So we have to get back in front of them, get back on the top of their mind. And that's, you know, that's why we need traffic coming to our site. I'm totally against sending people to Spotify and, and Apple Music. I'm just going, y'all can roast me in the comments. I know y'all experts down there or whatever. I'm all about sending people to your, your website, your email list, building a report with your fans, right? We're going to put together a small, small, small budget, right? $5.00. Ten dollars a day. What we're going to use that budget to do is set up an ad using your Facebook Ads Manager. Don't hit the promote button. Don't hit that little small button. Go into your Facebook Business Manager. There's plenty of videos on YouTube. If you want us to make a video about it, drop it in the comment. Any, if, if any of this stuff that you want us to make a customized video about, ask for it in the comments below. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you don't ask, we don't feel like you, you got it right. So what it is, is we're going to use that $10 and we're going to set up an ad targeting the people who already follow us, who've already DM'd us, who already engaged with us, who already showed us all that love. So all those people that's always liking and commenting and showing support, we're going to be running an advertisement to them, sending them to your website to buy your product or sending them to the link in the bio or something like that, right? The reason why we have to retarget the people who already follow you is because of that Instagram, just social media, period, does not show everyone who follows you your content. They don't show everybody, right? So you have a lot of supporters who don't even see when you post. So what we have to do is maximize our chances of being profitable by getting in front of the people who care about us the most. That's why we're going to spend this little budget to get your offer in front of people, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to set up an ad. So like, let's, let's for example, right? Let's say... We got 5,000 followers. If you're a serious artist, if you're serious on social media, it, period, you got to have 5,000 followers. Like, what are you doing? Feel what I'm saying? We, you, 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 need to be book, you need to be getting with us ASAP if you ain't got 5,000 followers yet, man. What's going on? But what you have to do is you got to get back in front of your 5,000 followers. My bad for pausing. So what, we're, what the goal is is trying to get 200 sales, right? So that's roughly about 5%, 5, 6, you know, percent of... You're following. So what we would do is we would set up a we would set up a reach campaign. If you if you know for you Facebook ad experts down there, we'll set up a reach campaign so we'll able so we'll be able to optimize to reach the most important people that we need to reach. I'm almost willing to bet it. If you spend three hundred dollars, right, ten dollar day budget over the course of a month, right, 
You set the ad up. If you need help setting up ads, DM us for a consultation. Now there is plenty of videos online, but if you want us to set, if you want us to make a video showing you how to run ads in front of the people who matter the most, drop it in the comments, right? So I'm willing to bet if you spend ten dollars a day advertising your product to the people who already show you love. These are high quality people. These are high quality leads. I am willing to, I, I mean, we've done it so much before. It's a system. You, you, you're going to win. You're going to win. You're going to win. You are going to win if you advertise in front of the, the people who already support you, who already rock with you. You're going to win. Why are you not doing that? Why are you not advertising? Why are you not getting back in front of the people who care about you the most? These people don't like, they like every post. They like every picture. They comment all the time. They're just sitting there waiting for you to say, hey, I got a product for you. Would you, would you like to buy it? That's all you got to say. Would you like to buy this product? Nine times out of ten, they will. Why? Because they like, know, and trust you. It's that simple. Now, I do have the organic way, and uh, JT, I have the link to that video in the, uh, in, the, in the description to where it really breaks down the organic way. If you don't have the money, if you don't have $10 a day that you can, uh, that you can pay, I do have the organic way to where you can reach out to your audience and uh, make these sales and get the same thing done. Shout out to Denzel Wilson. Shout out to Hugo. Um, shout out to Official Sue. Shout out to Katora Cummins, oh, Nate Jolly. All of them have went through the system and they have made over $1,000 in less than a month using exactly what I just told you. You can look all them up, ask them, tell them Jeremiah I sent you. You can bet the house on that. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's what it is. You know what I mean? Can you also tell them if you're an artist, where should they have their music registered? I think you named out like four or five places. Okay. Now, what I was just explaining was that's uh, direct to consumer now. Now, to get your money from, um, you know, get your royalty money, there's two bags I like to call it. I like to call it the, the, the you know, you got to get your straight uh, direct to consumer, and then we got like the royalty bag. So, first, you want to get your royalties from, uh, you know, your, your Spotify, your regular royalties, your streaming, and the, uh, you know, all. All the simple stuff. Everybody got it. Your distro kids, your United Masters, all those things like that. Secondly, you want to be registered to your uh, PRO, your performance rights organizations. That's your ASCAPs and your BR, uh, BMIs of the world. Uh, Only Winners Records, our label, we're registered. With, we're, we are a publishing company through BMI, right? Then you want your song, song trust and sound exchange. These sites help you get uh, collect your royalties from like Pandora, uh, online radio, certain spins the way you can't uh, control where the audience, where a person cannot control what they listen to next. So like if they have uh, a free Spotify account or a free account anywhere, that's how you get your, your mechanical royalties and your royalties through your YouTube streams and things like that. So we got sound, uh, sound exchange, song trust, we got your PRO, and then we got your regular royalties, right? So we got mechanical royalties, performance royalties, YouTube royalties, regular just streaming royalties. Those are the bags that you have to get from um, each each uh, each song that you release. Get me straight. If I said something, you know, if I said if I didn't say a royalty to correct, you know how y'all technical y'all tech heads down there like, nah, it's it's the this 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 royalty. You know what I'm saying? You know exactly what I mean. You need all four of those companies. Sound Exchange, Song Trust, ASCAP or BMI, uh, Chart Metro, Music Reports. Music Reports for the uh, Mechanical Royalty. So it's Music Reports, Song Trust, Sound Exchange, and your PRO. What about if somebody out there wants to try to do this for themselves, but they want some help with some scripts? Do you got any advice for them? Can they contact you and purchase a script or anything like that? If they need help trying to create the ad copy, because... Oh, okay, we know we got music, we want to bundle it up, but we just don't know how to make an ad. So as far as making an ad, the reason, the good thing about where we're starting off now is like we're getting back in front of the people who rock with you the most. So fortunately, we might not have to get real funky and all that stuff with the ad copy because they already aware of you. But if you do need help with ad copy, if you do need help with all that stuff, we do have scripts 
that we sit that we can give you um that that comes in you know which when you jump into the system and everything we got scripts that you can purchase and uh they they literally walk you through exactly what to say exactly what to say how to converse how to build how to uh it's it's, it's, it's it really took the work out for you i mean it's it's <laughs> it's crazy like we tell you exactly what to say how to say it when to say it we got your follow up questions we got the icebreaker questions um you know we even do we do have questions that we that you can reach out to people who may not be aware of you and may not be fans for, of you we have scripts and things for you to say and how to uh, break the ice and really how to engage with people so we got everything you need we got content calendars what to post how to post when to post content strategies we got everything for you all right and we gave them a lot of game about ads so how do you feel about Facebook ads versus Google ads versus Instagram ads for somebody out there that's saying, okay, we get it. We need to run ads, but are all ads created equal or what would you recommend for somebody in the music industry? Uh, where should they run their ads? Well, me personally, I know this might not be a, a, a big fan choice. Y'all might say, y'all might think I was about to say YouTube, but I got to give it to Facebook. The reason why I recommend you guys running Facebook ads is because Facebook can optimize for people actually watching your video through. There's a video view uh, objective that you can run a Facebook ad to. And you can have a three minute video or however long your video is. And you can actually start targeting people by the watch time. So like if if if, if me and JT watch your song for like 75, if we watch 75% of the song, your next ad will just be targeting us. Or you can target the people who watch 95% of the song. Or you can also target the people that watch 25. Maybe they weren't too interested. Maybe you have to send them something else. The reason why I like Facebook is because they optimize exactly for what you want. And that's for people to view it. And then we can segment those people and send them wherever we want to send them. So I am on the Facebook bandwagon. Facebook. I mean, I'm, I'm 28. You know, y'all young heads might think Facebook ain't got that going on. But I'm a look, we can get you lit off the book. That's just all I got to yeah. say. And the last question I have for you is so... My, my channel is evolving, and we want to talk about automation as well. So uh, for somebody out there that says that they really passionate about music, they, they want to do all of this, but they also got another job because their music isn't making them any money mm -hmm. right now. Um, is there a way to systematize this at all so that they don't got to work 40 hours a week and do this for another 40 hours a week? Or how does that look for somebody that may have never ran ads before? Okay, so what that looks like is this. So what we do is... We have the product, we set the product up, right? So, you know, we got to manually do that. That's pretty much the only thing manually that you have to do is like actually put the product together. We recommend digital. You can have a physical product, but the cost, the overhead, you might not get the best return on your investment. That's why we create a digital product so we can sell it straight off the Google Drive, straight off online. It's a digital product, right? So we're trying to save money on the front end. Secondly, what we do is... We create the, the web page, right? So we got the product, we create the web page, we create everything to where it's set up automatically to where we have your ad saying, hey, like this video, like, hey, just go support this. We set the ad up, we send them to the landing page. The landing page will get them, well, the buy button. The, yeah. we, we send them to the buy button, they buy, it sends automatically, and you really don't have to do nothing. So once we just start, we, we create the product, and then we create the ad, it, it runs by itself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it really runs by itself. Now, if you don't have the money, you would have to spend a little more time just sending out DMs and you know sending DMs to the people. Mm -hmm. But if you have an extra bit of change, you got some money that you need to invest, which we always recommend you do, you just set up the ad, send them to the product page, they should buy from there. It is just, it's that simple. Facts, facts, man. Let the people know where they can keep up with you at. Look, you can keep up, you, you got to type in Jeremiah Reeves, you type in Jeremiah Reeves anywhere. That's why I'm on Facebook, YouTube, I'm about to say TikTok, we ain't on, <laughs> <laughs> we ain't on the TikTok yet, uh, you know, Instagram, uh, YouTube, everywhere, just Jeremiah Reeves, um, you know what, I, I, I mean, I, I just just hit me up, I mean, you probably have a conversation with me for free, man, I don't even really be tripping on it, man, I just be wanting to help, you know what I'm saying, uh, we can do, I do free consultations, but, um, you know, when you're ready to execute, just holler at me, Jeremiah Reeves, 
All my links will be in the description. Facts, facts. So there you have it, you guys. Like he said, all the contact information to keep in touch with my brother is already down in the description below. Hey, again, if you got unanswered questions, you can put it in the premiere. You can put it down below. Hit him up. He said he do free consultations, right? So if you're watching this video and you or somebody you love is really passionate about their music and they feel like their music is good enough that it should be making them money, but they spinning their wheels and don't know why they can't get any traction look whether you got money to do the paid ads way or you want to do it organically which is content on his channel tap in with this brother appreciate you for coming man, appreciate you hey man my brother yeah, my and brother it's... matter of fact hold on let me let me change it up you gotta yeah. watch this video to get a free consultation yeah. period <laughs> if you ain't watched this video you ain't getting no free consultation you gotta yeah. watch this video you gotta be supporting my boy period you know what i mean if he send you then i'm gonna holler at you if he, he ain't send you then i just... <clears throat> You gotta, yeah, man. You gotta hit the invoice, G. So, hey, until next time, y'all stay hustling, stay automating your business. We gone.